Hi, I'm here at the Chatham County Fair. I've got Annie here. She's the treasurer of the fair. How you doing, Annie? I'm doing very well, thank you. Now, your fair has been in existence for how long? Our fair has been in existence since 1949, and they were licensed in 1950. We're one of the, uh, I think, last two remaining um, owned and operated African-American fairs in the uh, country. This fair was started by a, a what I like to call pioneers way back during um, 1940s and 50s. It was not customary for African Americans to be able to display their crafts, their canned goods, their knitting, whatever. We could not join other fairs that were in existence, so we had to uh, start our own fair. So this fair has been around a long time. So this is one of the last Sebastians of segregated fairs. Oh yes, it is, it is. It's a product of that era, but, but thankfully now we've moved to a place where it's more, it's, it's community. It's community, it's a very diverse community. Uh, it's still a place to come for families to have uh, a good time. Way back when they first started, that was when it was, uh, what was just ordinary for there to be girly shows at country fairs and those kinds of things, but that's disappeared. We have a very clean midway here, very family friendly, the children love it, we have rides, we have lots of food vendors, um, place for us to visit. You know, Southerners like to meet the grocery store and any place else we can to just chit chat and this, this fair, this county fair, is the perfect venue for that kind of thing. Now, um, the show that you've booked in here, that is who? The show that we have booked in here is uh, brand new to us this year, uh, but our new show is Fun City. Fun City. Fun City. Fun City. Yes, it's the first year with them, and so far we've been impressed. They do have some very nice pieces here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, how do you get some of your funding? How is uh, the fair able to exist money-wise? Money-wise, we're self-supporting. Um, we solicit, get uh, money from uh, community members, from some community organizations. But this year, we've not had the funding that we've had in the past. Economically, we've seen some strain in this country, and, and this county fair has also felt that, that loss of, of funding from outside um, donors, really. We're not uh, funded by any grant, uh, anything federally or, or statewide. It's, it's what we, all of us who work for the fair, are volunteers. We volunteer our time and our effort and our expertise. Um, our fair is one of the money makers for us. We also rent our exhibit hall for to uh, locals for different kinds of things, birthday parties, anniversary celebrations, wedding uh, receptions. So we're a county fair that, that um, that operates year-round, not as a fair, but as a lot of other, uh, as another resource for uh, county offerings. Oh, that's very good. Self-supporting fairs, and that's self-supporting, and, and that's the way you got to go. Oh you can't yes. Depend on. Oh yes, <laughs> we're not dependent on other agencies. If a vendor wanted to uh, book in with you, and and how would they go about doing that? Yes, they could uh, contact us, Chatham County Fair Association. We have P.O. Box 1036, Pittsburgh, North Carolina, 27312. Uh, telephone number is 919-542-3292, and we would be happy to talk to vendors. We welcome vendors. Well, thank you very much, Anna. Thank you. It's been you. a pleasure. Make sure you come by Carnetown and check this out. Absolutely. Thank All right. you. Thank, thank you. you so much.